Northeast Dales, one of the most beautiful parts of the Dales in Yorkshire and I would honestly say it's one of the nicest places to ride a bike. This ride is going to take us from Finghall off towards Leyburn, through Middleham Castle, round, we'll stop at a pond and then after uh, Jervaux Abbey, I think it is, it takes us back to Finghall, but you can actually stop at uh, Pinker's Pond is another great starting point. Uh, it's about 20 miles altogether, although it says 17.1 by the time you've added the bits in. It's quite long. Uh, the route that we'd originally planned didn't take quite the same route. So we're going anti-clockwise? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we start off at Finghall and we work our way out on the road and the thing you'll find is just the colours in May were absolutely stunning. The fields were full of uh, meadow buttercup and the uh, roadsides were filled with cow parsley. Absolutely beautiful. We got to this first bridge where we turn left and go over the top. But it's a beautiful old bridge and it's definitely worth taking a look at. Sorry about the camber work. over the top of the river we saw this heron sitting waiting for us or standing just an incredibly quiet day putting the new tandem into action get a bit of stretch into the chains. When we arrive at Middleton Castle, uh, plenty of places to park your bike. Uh, if you go in, then there's toilets, drinking water, etc. There are toilets in the town, but Middleton Castle is really interesting. And uh, it's sort of counterpart really to Richmond Castle. Not in such good condition though. We didn't actually go in, uh, we didn't have the time, but we also were trying to prioritise the cycle route. Middleham itself is a beautiful town and it's probably worth stopping there. Um, lots of pubs, very old, and very well looked after too. So we head out from there and it's really not very long at all before you hit Pinker's Pond. It's not far off a reasonably busy road so just be careful but a very peaceful place to stop. Lots of ducks to look at and wildlife and a great place to stop for a cup of tea. Hawthorns on the hillside, all in full flower. Absolutely stunning. So we left there and we head towards uh, Holy Trinity Church and a uh, beautiful bridge there and the old abandoned abbey that's nearby. And again, a great place to stop. Butterbur growing beside the river. Lovely old house. They've done their garden well. And if you walk up this little lane, just stopping by the park the bike and walk up the lane, you can get to see a bit of the abbey. So you cross over the river cover. And when you get to the bottom, you need to turn left. We took a short detour right just to see what was going on.
really peaceful. You'd hardly think that any cars had ever been over. But the moment we started to ride off, I think two cars came along, but we hadn't seen any throughout most of the journey. And most of the cars would be turning right after the bridge, and we turned left. And heading up towards Braithwaite Hall it was so quiet. There was a tractor at one point that was quite wide. It's the Abbey by the bridge. So one of the great things about the Braithwaite, Braithwaite Hall Braithwaite estate is the fact that the roads are incredibly quiet until you get down to Witten. Um, but you can see there's almost nothing there. Fabulous old trees to look at if you're interested Sometimes. in such a thing. And you come through Witten, I think we turn right and then head towards Chavot Abbey. Now we weren't able to go in, it was closed because of COVID, but huge sycamore that one. It's an absolutely glorious uh, place to visit. There's lovely gardens and it's by voluntary donation. I'd encourage you to pay. Having worked with the horticulture industry for a while, we know how tight things can be. A very peaceful garden. And if you've had a bad week, Maybe you're under stress and you just want somewhere quiet to go and sit and meditate, uh, think, quietly read a book. I'd say it's a great place to go. There was absolutely nobody in there when we went. If you want toilets and the tea room, that's on the other side of the road from the abbey itself. Now, in fact, the videotape ran out after the Abbey, but when we headed out, it's, it's a bit of a slog back up to Fing Hall. But, uh, and there's one steep hill, but it was incredibly quiet. There were almost no cars. And our final bit, we actually took a bit of a shortcut through a, uh, it was a farm track. And that probably cut about a mile off the journey, maybe a mile and a half but it also gave us uh, the opportunity to uh, have a look at some of the crops and uh, spot a few quite unusual species of bumblebee that I saw down there, which we don't get where we live in the southeast of England. gorgeous old pollard. So as I say, you could start where we did in Finghall, or you could start up the road in uh, Pinker's Pond. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little trip. It wasn't tiring, really enjoyed it. And bless you, and we'll see you again on the next ride.